one of the most neglected areas of our training in Filipino martial arts is the fitness and conditioning for our body. I get people that ask me all the time, Paul, is, is flexibility training really important for martial arts? We don't do high kicks. Paul, is strength training really important for martial arts? We're fighting with weapons, right? This is self-defense, this isn't fitness class. I get all sorts of questions about our physical fitness and conditioning about is it really necessary? If we are looking to increase our performance in Filipino martial arts, we have to be looking at raising our energy levels and raising our athleticism. And the best way to do this, when we are taking the time, we're taking a break off the stresses of, you know, moving with the double sticks and the staff and the Sakaran kicking and all these different Kali fighting techniques, then we could be putting our attention into building our body to be a stronger type of machine to carry on these different Kali techniques. So today I wanna to give you six different exercises that you can do that's going to massively increase your attributes and your performance for Filipino martial arts. Let's go ahead and kick right on into it. Then, once you have all six of these exercises, I want you to click the join button right below this video, become a YouTube member to our channel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put you through a workout that you can do with me. Just follow along with me using these six moves. Let's kick right on into it with exercise number one, the push-ups. Okay, so the first exercise on the list to massively increase our attributes for Filipino martial arts or any martial arts is push-ups. This is the king of all exercises. It works the whole body, it works the core and everything. I wanna give you guys a beginner, like, like an easy version, a more intermediate version, and then a little bit more advanced version for all these exercises, all right? So the first one is our push-ups. Take a bench right here, and we're gonna do incline push-ups. This is the easy way to do it first. So whatever your fitness level is, doesn't, it, it's totally cool, it doesn't really matter. You have somewhere to start, and it's just about starting, and it's about consistency in our training. Don't worry about duration. If the count is 10, but you can only get six push-ups, go for the six push-ups. Just complete what you can. But here we have our push-ups. Our first easier version for beginners is our incline, so we're using an incline surface we're gonna go ahead, bring our chest down to it as best as you can, and push up just like that. Just make sure your elbows are not flaring out. Keep your elbows in right here. So just do a couple of these. Just like that. A little bit more advanced is our standard push-ups. We're just gonna go straight flat on the ground just like this. Chest to the ground, touch your chin, and all the way up. Don't cheat them and do half push-ups like this. Okay, get all the way down, do a full repetition, all the way down, all the way up. Just like that. A little bit more difficulty, we could increase the body weight resistance by doing an incline push-up. So take that inclined surface, this time we're gonna put our feet on it, just like this, and then same thing. I like to Get my chin right there. Kiss the dirt. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> All right, that's exercise number one to become a Kali beast is our push-ups. Let's take a look at exercise number two. Exercise number dalawa, or two, is we gotta go over to the bar. And uh, this is our pull-ups. Easy version first. We're gonna go ahead and use a bar just like this. It's about waist height. And we're gonna go ahead, grip it just like this, kick our feet all the way through, and bring our chest to the bar, and lower it, just like this. Okay. So if you have a hard time doing a pull-up, or you can't quite get one yet, start off just like this. This is really easy to make. You can go over to the hardware store, just grab a couple galvanized pipes, pretty cheap. Screw them together, some galvanized pipe, some elbow fittings, T fittings, and uh, you can start making your own gym at home for little to no cost. A couple hundred bucks, you got a whole gym. So you don't have to go, you know, get a crazy gym membership that, you know, you use for like a month and then you, and then you don't use it anymore. Or, uh, you know, go buy all that expensive equipment. All right, 
next level of pull-ups, if you can't quite achieve a pull-up yet, is we can do negatives. We're gonna use momentum to help us out here. I'm gonna jump up to the bar, and I'm gonna jump up into that pull-up position. Like that, and then go slowly down, just like that. This is called a negative pull-up. A little bit, little bit more difficult than our other pull-up. Just like that. So you're still going through the pull-up motion, building that strength, and we're just building that strength in the reverse. And then of course, the last version is doing a pull-up. So we're gonna go ahead, jump up, grab the bar, and pull our chest up to the bar. Just like that. That's exercise number two. The pull-ups, get those beast lats, put more power into your strikes. Exercise number three, trace, tot low, depending on what language you speak. We're gonna come over to the bar again, just like this. Here, I'll use this bar. You can use this bar too, just like this, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the bar is. All right, so we have our, uh, we, got, we gotta start activating our abs. Really, really important. We have our L sets, but before we get to that, that's the challenging one, let's start nice and easy. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tuck our knees, just like this. If that's challenging for you, start off with one knee. And then just go ahead and alternate your knees until you can get both knees up at the same time. Okay? Once you have your knee tucks and you want a little more difficulty to this exercise, let's do our leg raises. Keep the legs as straight as you can and raise them up to parallel to the ground. Just like that. Then, the more difficult one is the L sit where we're gonna keep our legs straight out and we're gonna hold that position. So grabbing the bar, kick them out and hold the position. That's exercise number three. Let's take a look at exercise number four. All right, exercise number four. We got planks. We're still targeting the abs right here. I'll make sure you get, again, the easy version first. So come on down with me. We're gonna go into the push-up position, hands about shoulder distance apart, and we're just gonna hold just like this. Just make sure that when you're doing this, that your butt's not up in the air, and that your butt's not sagging down to the ground. You want to try to keep your back, your butt, your legs as straight as a board and hold. Keep your abs engaged. Increasing the difficulty level just a little bit with this one is uh, just like this. Go into the plank position and then we're going to go opposite hand, opposite leg and balance and hold. And then switch it to the other side, just like that. And that's gonna increase the difficulty a little bit, incrementally, so that way as you're uh, getting stronger, we need to add a little bit more resistance to these exercises. The third version of this exercise, it's not really necessarily more difficult, it doesn't really add like more resistance to the body weight, but what I like about it is that it starts to activate the shoulders and a little bit more areas of your body. And we're gonna go into the plank position just like this, okay? And we're gonna do our elbow drops. We're gonna drop down to our elbows and then raise it back up to our hands, just like that. Right there. Get a little bit of form, tempering and conditioning for your colleague for your knife tapping and your close quarter techniques and all that. Right there. And then you can always go the other way as well. Just like that. That is the third planking variation for our Kali exercises. Oh, all right, we have 
the fifth exercise for our Kali fitness conditioning, which is our bodybuilders. Starting off nice and easy. I know sometimes when people hear bodybuilders, they're like, oh man, it could be a tough one. It's a full body workout. So let's go ahead and break it down, do a little bit easier version first, and then we can uh, pick it up. So from here, especially like, you know, if your knees uh, need a little bit of work, maybe they're a little sore or anything like that, this is a good variation to do. We're gonna come on down, squat on down, kick one leg out at a time. You can always come down and do a knee push up if you need to. And then bring one leg up at a time. Instead of jumping up, go into this prey position and try to get your knees to your elbows just like that. That's a great, easy version starting off if you gotta start off nice and easy, nice and chill. And bring it down, squat down, kick one leg out at a time. Do a knee push up, just like that. One knee up, bring it up, and knees to elbows, just like that. Okay. Guys, there's nothing wrong with starting off easy. Even if you are physically you know, fit conditioned, to say, you can still do these easier versions. This is a great way to get the first round in to warm up. And then you can incrementally add the different difficulty levels to each round. And then you can kind of ladder them. So you can get a really good workout just by doing this. Or as you're maximizing your reps and you're starting to fatigue, then you could always down drop, drop down to lesser resistance and keep the workout going. Okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, just start adding in the squat. Next variation, we're gonna add in the squat. Bring it back if you have to. You can still do a knee push up just like this. Bring it back just like this. And then just add in your knees to elbows. So now you're just adding in the kick out. Boom. Right there. Knee to elbows. If you can do the regular push up, the standard push up, that's great. Right here. Knee to elbows. Or give you another little intermediate. Kick it up just like that. And just give it a little jump. You have to just do a little jump, just do a little hop. Here, push up, boom, and a little hop. Nothing wrong with that. Then as we're advancing, as you're getting stronger, your body's getting more conditioned, maybe it's like round two or three, you're feeling like a beast. Now we can go ahead and go into it. Kick it out, push it up, and jump. Try to get your knees sucked up to your chest, get a knee tuck. Right there. Right there. Right there. Just like that. That's exercise number five to become a Kali beast. All right, exercise number six. We got one more, become a Kali beast. We gotta hit these triceps, we gotta target them. Best exercise, dips. Come over to a bench. This could be anything. This could be a bench. This could be a log in the forest. This could be a big rock. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be anything exciting. Just need a bench. Beginner version of our dips. We're targeting those triceps. Keep your knees bent, feet and knees about 90 degrees. And we're keeping our back pretty close to the bench, but not close enough where we're gonna scrape our back on the bench. From here, we're gonna drop it down to uh, no more than your triceps parallel to the ground. You don't wanna go too far. And then just raise it up, just like this. So the closer that your feet are to you, the less resistance that's gonna be on your dips. Okay? When you need a little bit more of a challenge, then we're gonna go ahead move our feet away from us, and that's gonna put more body weight into the dips, give you a little bit more resistance. Right here, same thing, dips. Okay, now, a little bit more advanced is that we have to get our feet off the ground. So, come over here with me to my parallels. Again, my home gym, it's just a few hundred bucks, couple hundred bucks, galvanized pipes screwed together. 
Doesn't need to be anything expensive, doesn't need to be anything super pretty, just needs to be functional. Grab it up, jump up into position. Now our feet are off the ground. Work your dips. Just remember that you do not have to go super low on these dips. When you're doing the parallel bars, you don't want to hurt your shoulders and you know anything like that. So you don't want to over pull the tenants or anything. So just go down no more than uh, tricep parallel to the ground on your dips and uh, that's gonna be really really good. So that is six exercises that you can do anywhere. You can do them at home, you can do them at the park, you can do them out on your hike, find a strong tree branch to do your pull-ups and stuff. But you can do these exercises anywhere, there's no excuse. I wanna make sure that you have training that is workable anywhere, anytime. You don't need equipment, you, don't really, you really don't need any equipment to do any of these exercises, right? As we can see, maybe just a bench for some dips or something like that, or rock. Okay? But I wanna make sure you guys have no excuse because it's the consistency in the training that also develops the consistency in the mindset and the physical and the mental conditioning is what's going to allow us to increase our attributes massively, which is going to increase our overall performance in our martial arts, especially when it comes to Kali or Filipino martial arts because it is so weapon involved and tense and fast. Right? We're gonna need every advantage that we can get to be on top. So work these six exercises out, and if you wanna follow along in a workout that I've put together with these exact same six moves, click the join button right below this video right now, and then I'll see you over in our members area here on the channel for our workout using these same moves. Don't miss it, let's get training together. I'll see you there in about 30 seconds. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this type of video and you wanna see more colleague conditioning and workout conditioning to improve your martial arts training, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment below, and head over to colleagecenter.com, check out my online school so that way I can further teach you and uh, help you become that colleague beast. I'll see you guys next time for the next video or I'll see you in 30 seconds for our workout.